Hi everyone, it is April the 20th, 2021. This is Dr. Westfrier, and in this video I'd like to show you how you can share an unlisted file on Google Drive. When you are not using Google Classroom or Screencastify, some tools that take care of the sharing settings for you on Google. And an example of this is in our sixth grade media literacy class, we're using a blog, we're writing on Write About, and when we share files there, we need to make sure that when people click on them, they don't have to be logged into Google um, because many of the, some, some students that you have a choice of whether you want to publish it for our class or publish it publicly. And so by making it unlisted, only people who click on that link and have that specific link can, can view it, but they don't have to be logged in. So this is how to do that. Uh, just a reminder, we've talked about this in class. So I'm going to go ahead and do this over on my iPad. This is Voice Record Pro. Um, I have just made a quick little recording here. There's a couple ways that you can save this. We could save it in the photo album, or we can click on Save to Google Drive. And that's going to um, go ahead. I can put a different title on it if I want to. I'm just going to upload it. Uh, and it's going to ask me the first time I do this to tap on my Google account and to log in, to trust the app. Now, remember, you want to be careful on what apps you trust. Um, but it actually uh, sends that. And I guess I had logged in as a student here. So that's good to know. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into Safari. And I'm going to go to Google Drive. And I'm going to make sure that I'm logged in just ordering a knife for cutting some some um, some brisket there all right so here we are I'm on my student account and look at that there's the file that I've uploaded now it's showing up right there under quick access and I can click on recents and I'll be able to see all the files that have been uploaded recently notice that it up actually uploaded two things the first one here is a text file um, that is can I click on this? Yeah. This is a text file that is um, you know, information about what I've uploaded. And then this, this is my actual uh, file here. This is what I want to change. So when you double tap on this, um, if it gives you this, you know, can't preview, what you want to do is you want to tap on the three dots in the upper right corner over here, and you want to get this share button. If it doesn't do that right away, you may have to click back and try it again. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't do that right away. But when you click share, this is the screen that you're looking for. And you're going to want to change down here where it says restricted. Only people with the link can get Cassidy School. And you're going to tap that, and you're going to change Cassidy School to anyone with the link. And now that is copied. You can tap copy again, and, and now you can paste that into your write about or wherever you need to post it. You can share that link. And that means that no one is going to need to be logged in to be able to um, view or listen to that file. In this case, this is an audio file. They'll be able to listen to it, but that those are the steps. All right. So I hope that was helpful to you. Again, um, this is not really something you need to worry about when you're on you know, Google Classroom just sharing it privately with your teacher. Uh, but as we're using our blogs and we're learning to publish and we're talking about our digital footprint, it's those are all good conversations. And one of the important things we need to know is that we can change the permission for files. And hopefully that helped you to do that. Good luck to you.